Hey folks, it is Spencer here with Spencer's Botanical Spotlight. Hope everyone is doing very well. Right when I start talking, my puppy looked at me like I'm ridiculous. But uh, today I'm going to uh, be reviewing uh, Down to Earth uh, Botanicals. Uh, they are one of the smallest batch uh, vendors I've, I've come across and they were nice enough uh, to send me uh, some samples of their stuff. So this is gonna be a review of my favorite uh, products of what they have or what they sent me uh, and I'm going to be putting their uh, their website uh, down below uh, but before I start that a uh, few little things I want to say uh, I'm not a doctor I'm in no way associated with uh, any kratom organization uh, so everything I say is just my opinion um, I'm not here to uh, diagnose uh, anyone also uh, there have been people uh, wanting to help support the channel uh, so I did create a Venmo account, and that is Spencer Botanical, oh no, sorry, Spencer Spotlight. Uh, and I'll put that into the description. So if you would like to donate anything just to help out, um, I would appreciate that truly. Uh, definitely hard times right now. But if you would like to help out in any way, I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, now, on to the review. Uh, so one thing I loved about this Kratom is it's the, the freshest I've had. Um, really close to uh, Lucky Herbals with uh, with freshness but with this it almost was a little bit a little bit fresher really good stuff now what I loved about it is that there's you know you have all these vendors out here with different strains uh, just weird names with the strains um, I can't think of one right off the top of my head it's, I'm tired tonight but uh, you know what I mean? There's just, there's a lot of them that have like really weird strain names. And I love this vendor, but like, you know, Bitchy Witchy is like one of them, but it's like, what does that mean? Um, there's some other, there some other ones out there like Borneo Blast, and it's like, you don't really know fully what it is. Uh, but one thing I love about this vendor is that it's just basic gray, you know, red, green, and white, but they put uh, the year of the tree uh, that it was picked from. So my favorite was the 30 year uh, green uh, Kratom. That was the strongest for me. Uh, but then they have like, you know, a 20 year um, white Kratom, for example, or something like that. But it's like a lot of them are based on like the years of uh, how old the tree itself is, which is really, really neat. Uh, and especially with myself, I've become like a Kratom aficionado. Um, I guess that's why I have this channel. I've become such an aficionado I like that it kind of is similar to wine. You know, when you buy wine, you know, there's the people that go, oh, this is a 20-year-old Vinoir or whatever it is. Or, oh, it's a 1895 and, you know, they're so expensive. Um, I like that now we have a vendor in the Korean community that kind of does the same thing for the snobs like me, uh, where they put, you know, how, how many, how old uh, the tree it came from is. And just because it comes from an older tree doesn't mean anything. I think they just really have good quality Kratom. Uh, another one I loved of theirs, they don't have it on sale right now, but they do every single holiday season. It's their Christmas Cali. Oh, oh that was the best Kratom I've had in a far, far long time. Uh, that one was really good. Uh, and you know, with, with a lot of vendors, they'll you know it, they'll say it's a white, a red, or whatever it is. But you know, for this one, I actually could tell the whites definitely made me more peppy. Uh, the greens were really good at just kind of making me feel like everything was okay, uh, and things have been pretty bad lately. And so uh, this kratom definitely uh, did help me out. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really a sucker for these small batch uh, vendors. Uh, I've noticed every time I have a small batch. Uh, the length of, they call them legs, but the length of the uh, the feeling um, is much longer compared to the larger uh, vendors like, um, uh, what is it? Not a Cali, I don't remember. I, it is a weird day. You would think I would, uh, I would be more, uh, more awake right now um but yeah it's you know like the club 13s um out there uh it's you know those are like the big ones the bulk uh vendors but yeah i'm definitely a fan of these small uh small batch vendors and they get a lot of hate which doesn't make sense there's a lot of people like oh well they're small batch vendors because they can't afford to have 
um, you know, larger qualities. I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think these, these people are just very smart, um, especially the folks over at uh, Down to Earth. I think they're just very smart on who they pick um, as their farmers and where they get their stuff. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with that. I think they're just very, uh, very good at what they do. Uh, customer service is wonderful too. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the description where you can uh, buy their product and let them know if in the order notes that I, I sent you over there just so they know that uh, know that they have support out there. And yeah, um, gonna put that down in the uh, the description. And I'm gonna be giving this a five out of five spotlights. I know I'm I'm crazy tonight giving it a five out of five, but yes, five out of five spotlights. And again, if you would like to donate um, it is uh, Spencer spotlight I'll put it in the description there's no need to uh, but I've just I've had a, quite a few people email me saying I'd love to support the channel you don't have a patreon how can I do this so I felt like I should I should give an option uh, out there so anyways folks I hope you're doing very well and thanks for watching the video be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and be sure to go check out their website thanks guys